Welcome back guys, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and this is part 8 of the inventory system tutorial series in Unity 3D. In this part we are going to add the ability to drag and drop items within our inventory to rearrange the items however we want them to be arranged. And to do this we have to make sure first that we have an item in that slot and we then need to make sure that the mouse is over that slot. So we already have that written, so we don't have to worry about that at all. We just continue on within that. But before we do that, I want to do one thing. Let's see, in our on GUI, or I'll do it in the draw inventory for now. I'll just say I want to make a variable that holds our current event. So it'll be an event, and I'll give it an E, and say it's equal to event.current. So now we can just use E instead of going event.current each time, we will just store it within E. So now here I could say event.mouseposition just like that, and it would be the same thing. Just to make sure, we will go into Unity, and I'll click play, hit I, and it still shows the uh, thing there, as it's supposed to, the thing being the tooltip. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and get started writing what we need for this. I'm going to do an if, uh, actually within the slot rect contains, because we have to make sure the mouse is in fact over a slot that in fact does have an item. So what we want to check for is we want to check to see if first we have left clicked on that item, and then we want to see if we have dragged the mouse from the position it was on when we clicked to the position wherever it may be and then just follow that with a texture icon and then we'll go from there so the first thing I want to do is do e dot uh, button is and that would be mouse button so zero is left mouse button one is right mouse button and then you have the other ones whatever they may be so I'm going to do e dot button is equal to zero so that is the left mouse button and we'll do an and then we want to see if the mouse is being dragged. So then I could say e.type, which would be the current event type, and then I could compare it to an event type, which would give me, as you can see here, quite a few things. But the event type that I want is I'll go ahead and do event type, and I want to see if the mouse has been dragged. So I'll do mouse drag. So you see if the event type is equal to event type dot mouse drag. So that's me. that means if the mouse has been dragged, that's all we're doing here is to check to see if that is happening. And then I want to see what? What do I want to know now? I think that'll work for me for now. And now I'm going to create a few variables that we're going to be using to help us with this drag and drop. The first one being a private, and I'm going to make one, it's a bool, it's going to be dragging item. So we will set this to true whenever we are dragging an item and set it to false whenever we are not dragging an item. That way we can control what we can and can't do while dragging an item. I will then create a private, let's see what do we need now. Now I need an item type and it will be the dragged item I guess. Or item currently, eh. Item, the dragged item will be fine. And what this will do is it will hold the information of the item that we are dragging. Because the way we do it is when I drag from a slot, I will actually just null out the slot. I won't uh, put the item actually on the mouse cursor. All you do is represent that with an icon that follows the mouse cursor. So you store the information from the dragged item into a boolean, or into a boolean, into a variable, and then I will set that variable to be that slot. I said that backwards, but that'll make sense here in a second. The next thing I need is what? We have the dragging item and then the dragged item. That's it for now. We'll need one more here in a second, but I will only get to that whenever we need that. So now I'm doing that. I know I want to set dragging item to be equal to true, because if we are doing this, then I am in fact dragging an item. So set it to true. The next thing I wanted to do is set the dragged item to be equal to the item that we are dragging. And that's quite simple. The dragged item is equal to, and we'll do slots i. Okay, so now I'm setting the dragged item to be equal to whatever we are currently on 
in our loop, which is the one that exists and also the one that our mouse is over. So now drag to item is equal to whatever we are dragging. I also want to set that position in the inventory to now be empty. Because if not, I'll show you really quickly what we can do with this before I do that. So I have dragging items set to true. I'll now go into my on GUI. And I had a question on the last video about show tooltip and uh, if, if you have the tooltip shown and then you hide the inventory, the tooltip will still be shown. So he just put it within the if show inventory and that's completely fine. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do that now because that does work fine. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, since I'm only using GUI.box and then I'll just uh, make it a single line there. And now what I want to do though is I want to see if we are in fact dragging an item and if we are, I want to draw the icon of the item that we are dragging on the mouse. So I'll say if dragging item, we have that boolean that will set to true whenever we are dragging an item. Then I'll say if we are, I want to go through the GUI and draw the icon with draw texture like we have done before. And the rectangle will be quite similar to, in fact, uh, it'd be pretty much this, but with a different size, because we want to draw it at the mouse position, as we did with the tooltip. But I want it to be, uh, I guess, 50 by 50, or whatever our icon is. I would, in fact, if I were you, have a variable that you set to set the icon size, the padding size, and all that stuff, and then just use that every time you need to reference it so you don't have to go back through later on and change all this information individually you'll just change one variable and it will change everything for you so I don't want it to be off 15 on the right there and this looks good to me so now I want to pass it the texture that it should be rendering and that would be through the dragged item so we have that stored we have an item reference in the dragged item and then I'll just grab the item icon dot icon dot item icon there we go so now it should draw that at the mouse whenever we are dragging an item and that will get us started on how we want this to look I'll hit I and I'll hover over one and I'll click I'll click and then I'll drag and now you see the icon of that item is now on the mouse wherever I put it I can let go and it won't do anything but that's start that's a start not that's start that's a start so that's good so far. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure I get rid of the item that we dragged in that slot because the way I did it is I dragged and it looked like we just duplicated the item and made it follow the mouse and that's not good. So what I'll do is I'll say now inventory I is equal to a new item. So we'll just empty that inventory slot and by emptying that inventory slot we actually also empty the slot where am I here? We also empty the slot itself instead of just the inventory so it's you know slot is equal to inventory so that's the same thing as doing slots equals new item except if we change the slot it will not change the inventory so if we change the inventory it will change the slot and that's the difference so now if I was to do this hit I click and drag now it looks like I pulled it from the slot so I can do it to this one too and it'll just lose that other item because we don't have any condition in for that to uh, not happen so I can do that for that one and that's that's how that works so that's good but now to simply fix that one issue I'll say if not dragging item so if we're not already dragging an item also make sure you do an and there so if we're not already dragging an item we can drag an item but if we are dragging an item you cannot reset the dragged item until you get rid of the item that you are dragging Okay, so now say we want to be able to drop the item that we're dragging in a slot. Well, if I was to drop the item, if I was to set up that within this, that means every time that it checks for it, it will be on top of an item or a slot that contains an item because we're inside of slots, item name is not equal to no. So that would be how we would swap items, not how we'd take one and put it from a, an item that or a slot that contains an item to a slot that does not contain an item. That's how you would do it from a slot that does contain an item and drop it on another slot that contains an item. And if you do that, you want to swap the indexes of these items so it actually swaps the items themselves. And the way I would do that is I need a reference to the index that we dragged that item from. And I'll do a private and I'll do an int because an index is just a single number, right? 
So a, a private int, and I'll just do like a previous index, or a dragged index, or a, I don't know. I'm just gonna do a previous index or prev index. And then when we drag this, I will set a drag or I said that previous index to be equal to whatever i is at that point because i is the index that we are using for our slots and our inventory. So that will give us the index from the slot that we dragged that item. Now we have the information we need to swap these items. So now what I would do is I would check to see if we are letting go of the mouse over a slot and as a result of being within this if statement that slot that we released the mouse over will contain an item so we have to swap them. So I'd say e dot what do I need? I need I need event type. So we're going to do e type is equal to event type, as we have done. And the event type that we want is mouse up. So that means let the mouse button up. Not mouse down, but mouse up. Makes sense, right? So if we let go and we are in fact dragging an item. So we want to see if we're dragging an item. If we're not, it doesn't matter if we let go of the mouse over a slot. Nothing should happen. But if we are dragging an item and we let the mouse up over a slot that contains an item, then we must swap those items out. So the first thing I would do is what? Let's see. Let me think about this. I would do uh, inventory. And then I would grab the index from previous index. So the first thing I think I want to do is set the the um, the previous slot that we dragged that item from to be equal to the item that was in the slot that I dropped the dropped that I dropped the dragged item on top of. Sounds confusing, but maybe it'll make sense here in a second. So inventory previous index is equal to. I'll set it to be equal to whatever the item in this NIST slot. Right, so let's see. Inventory previous index is equal to inventory i. So whatever item is in this slot at the moment, it will be moved to the item or the slot that we dragged the item from. I think that's working in my head. Let's see. The next thing I have to do is, is I have to set this slot to be equal to the item that we were dragging. That's quite simple. I'll do inventory i is equal to dragged or see inventory i yeah is equal to dragged item. As that is an item type itself, we can just say dragged item. The next thing I want to do is set dragging item to be equal to false because we are no longer dragging an item, and then I want to set the dragged item itself to be null because there's no item that we're dragging. So make sure. We set it to false, or not to false, but to null. So next time we'll just drag and we'll, it'll drag a new. And I don't guess you really have to set it to null, at least uh, so far. But that should be pretty much what we need to swap items around. Quite simple when you think about it. So I can right click or left click and drag on that item. I'll let go right here. Nothing happens. Come over here and I'll click right there. And now it puts the shirt where the amulet was. So I want to drag and drop there, and then drag and drop there and then drag and drop there and that's fine. Drag and drop down here, the item will not go there because that item or that slot does not contain an item. And we're only doing it for slots that do contain items. Okay, so we can only swap it right now with other items, which is fine, but to uh, make that work in any empty slot is quite easy. We want to do this outside of the item null check because we don't care if there is an item there we actually want to make sure there isn't an item there. So I'll go below the... Well, I could do an else. We could do an else. If we, We'll just do an else. That'll be fine. So I'll do an else. And then anything inside of this that we do will be to items that do not exist. So I will say if... Then I will grab this same, uh, I have to make sure that we are hovering over the slot still. So I will grab that. And then I have to do another if. So, so the next thing I want to do though is I want to, for this if, I want to do if we are dragging an item and we let go of the mouse. 
then all I'll do is I'll just copy these last three things here because we don't care about the previous index because we're not going to be putting anything there because this slot does not contain an item to swap. So really that should be it. This should be all we need. Now I could combine these two if statements into a single if statement uh, but I'm thinking we could use this by itself. I'm not too sure though. Maybe we can. And if not, just combine them and save some space. So hit I now. I'll click drag and drop and drop it there. And there we go. That was pretty easy, right? It wasn't easy for me to explain. I hope I did it. I hope I did okay. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment below. That'll do it for this part. It was quite quick, I think, and I wanted to cover it quickly because I have somewhere to be. Uh, but I think we did. I think we did well. It works fine. We can drop it in an empty slot. We can swap items, which is pretty important. And it, it just works, right? It's quite simple. It's not. Uh, I wouldn't say it's foolproof. So I'm, I'm sure you can break it if you try. I don't know. I don't think you can break it. Maybe you can. Let me know if you can. Have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, check out the website, awfulmedia.com. Go to the forum if you have a serious question that requires lots of code and stuff. It would help me out if you just went there. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Awful Media and Google Plus Awful Media as well. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a like if you like this video. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.